Hi there, I'm Dana Cowley here in beautiful sunny Kennewick, Washington, your host for today's edition of Charter Local Edition Northwest. And my guest today is Kennewick City Councilman Matt Binky. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. You're relatively new to the council. Everyone's excited about all the advancement in Kennewick, particularly in Southridge. Yes, ma'am. It's a great opportunity that we have out in Southridge, building on the infrastructure that we've looked at the last five, ten years. But looking at the expansion that we're going to see, we're looking at 33 to 35,000 people coming to the city of Kennewick, and we need to be prepared for that. Well, we want to have that infrastructure in there. First the high school, then the hospital, and now all of those businesses popping up around the new homes. It's really just exploded. It's great, and that's what we're looking at. We want to be prepared for that future have the roads in place, have that infrastructure together so people can plug right in, the sewer systems to make sure we have the water, and the vitality then brings in the businesses and we can then expand to the future. So. People really want this kind of development everywhere, but you managed to accomplish it. What were some of your steps to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked because it's one of the great things about being a leader in the community is partnering with the local business leaders and mm -hmm. the other agencies around. We partnered with the Port of Kennewick, Benton County, and also Trios Health, like you mentioned. As those are the key leaders we see in Kennewick, we put those together in a partnership coalition and went to the state, and the state said that's a great opportunity where we can look at economic vitality, and then the infrastructure will come with that. Well, and just since you're relatively new to come back to the Tri-Cities and relatively new to the council, let's let people get to know you a little bit. You were in the military and did some exciting things for a long time. Yes, I did, and i be thankful to be here, and thanks everybody who, who support our military and the veterans that we have service today. I did 22 years flying helicopters, jumping out of airplanes, and, and doing a good time around the world, but also being a leader of multicultural, uh, independent individuals of the best army in the world. We were in Iraq, Afghanistan, then come back to where I grew up was here in the Tri-City. So I wanted to kind of bring that same leadership that I learned of being in those same situations that a leader is and then bringing it to the civilian life and then expanding on what I can do for the future of Kennewa. And when I was looking at your website, it says that you're also teaching cybersecurity too. Yes, ma'am. I got an opportunity to apply for and and look into, and Rich Cummings, president over at CBC, Columbia Basin College, allowed me the opportunity to take on the director of the cybersecurity program there. Uh -huh. And what he entitled me to do is to be a leader in the cybersecurity aspect of what is a budding industry that's affecting all of us. You go into banking, financial, hospital, personal data, where it's at, where it resides, and how we can secure that from being attacked by hackers or somebody to do malicious acts on us. Well, you'll have a lot of your own kind here in the Tri-Cities because so many people served in the military who work at Hanford and of course cybersecurity is one of the aspects that Pacific Northwest National Laboratory is always working on so it is. should have plenty of people to associate with in your field. Oh it's great and, and again another partnership that is a great opportunity that we look at where we could be a cybersecurity center of excellence to be in the southeastern side of the Washington State and in the Northwest we're looking at partnering with WSU Tri-Cities, University of Washington, and being that proponent on the east side of the state that says, hey, we have just as much opportunity. But when you have a national laboratory there, you're looking at a great target of opportunities for threat environment that people want to take that professional knowledge, steal some data that we have oh, that's yes. leading to emergency technologies here in our country. Mm -hmm. So when you're teaching a student, um, I have daughters who are going <laughs> into college, and you're teaching cybersecurity that is so vitally important for all of us for so many reasons, even beyond our own identity. What are some of the first key things that you teach a student about that? Really the fundamentals are understanding a password, make sure you have passwords on things, limited access controls what you should have open and what not, uh, even to what's happening this last week of the explosion of Pokemon Go um. and how that affects people of walking around and your a situation awareness of how you're acting online you're understanding that you're being tracked by a GPS signal that anybody can hack into and understand that I can then, within one 30-second timeline, find out about 25, 30 people, and I can see how I can manipulate that if I was a nefarious character and wanted to do some bad harm to people. Wow. That's good to know. Matt, thank you. We appreciate you being here. This is Matt Banke. He's our new Kennewick City Council member. I'm Dana Cowley, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest. Thanks for being here.